Jackson and to his outside. It just as the hood says, he ain't dead yet, ladies and gentlemen. From Dunlap, the O1B of Grandpa Gums, Kevin Brock. Your third and final row will see from Scranton, Iowa to the inside. Seth Butler in the 22 and to his outside. That is second generation driver from Kyron, the 01U2 of Dayton Ulrich. Ladies and gentlemen, get up and on your feet. Let's send them off in 2023, right? The season is green. It is going to be Colby Christensen who is going to win the battle down into one and two for the first time ever. He is going to pull ahead of Travis Fink. Kevin Brock now puts up into that third place spot. It is Colby Christensen, Fink, Brock, then Riley Christensen, battle for fifth. That is Seth Butler is going to get ahead of the 0-1-U-2. And it's going to be Colby Christensen leading lap number one. But here comes Kevin Brock. Kevin Brock up to that second place spot. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank everybody looking in on the Facebook Live look in as uh, the first laps of 2023 now in the books. Again, Kobe Christensen is leading. I love the fact that we got live timing and scoring. He has a seven tenths of a second lead over Kevin Brock. Kevin Brock ahead of Riley Christensen, your defending track champion. Then it is Travis Fink. Oh, a little bumper loving between him and Seth Butler in fifth. Dayton Ulrich tries to go to the inside of the 01 years or the 22 of Butler. Three car battle for four, five, and six as it is Fink, Butler, and Ulrich. Now that's going to spread apart just a little bit. It's now a 1.3 second lead for Colby Christmas over Kevin Brook. As we have two to go, green flag in the air in the hands of Chief Starter Brian Broderson. Again, great story on Kevin Bruck. Almost passed away in an actual streetcar accident two years ago, last year. Got in the uh, Midwest or Western Iowa vintage cars. Won all three features here. This year, back in the hobby stock. Running second in his first heat race back. One lap to go. Riley Christensen trying to get up there, knock on the door of the 01B. Meanwhile, Seth Butler all over the rear bumper of the F20 of Fink. That's going to allow Ulrich to try and get underneath Butler. Not going to happen. But it's going to be Colby Christensen winning heat race number one. Kevin Brooks second. Riley Christensen third. Travis Fink fourth. And the 01 U2 of Dayton Ulrich fifth as uh, Seth Butler pulls up lame. Not sure what happened to the 22. Oh, a little bit of smoke coming out of that car. Uh oh. I know he's ran a few other races, but uh, that's not good this early in the season. Of Justin Frederick and to Justin's outside from Missouri Valley, Iowa, that is George Ray in the 16R. And the uh, driver of the O1F from Denison, the man they call Dahmer, Jeff Fink, is going to round out the field. RPMs are going to come up, and the green's going to go down. We are back to racing. It is going to be Steyer with the early advantage as they go into one. But look at this. Alex Stapleton in that Oldsmobile Cutlass Salon says, uh, nope, not going to happen, Steyer. I'll take the lead. Thank you. Fredrickson now up to second. Ray in third. Dahmer's going to get by the 87 of Steyer and pull up into fourth. Hello. Debris in turn two. I saw it pop off one of the cars as they were going around there. Oh. Opening night, Jacques already causing issues. Good night. I was curious if that was just a chunk of mud that came off of one of the cars, but they threw the yellow, so it's a little harder than a chunk of mud. Yeah, apparently. Up next is going to be your first heat race in your IMCA Freezing Performance Northern Sport Mods brought to you by Totten's Plumbing and Heating. But first, we got some unfinished hobby stock business. As the green flag comes back out, we're back to racing. This time, much better start for Stapleton as he is going to be uncontested down into turn number one and start to pull away. Here comes Dahmer. Dahmer from tail end, Charlie up to third, going all over uh, Frederick for second. 
Frederick in second. He has that position. Dahmer wants it. He wants a chance to go after Stapleton. Stapleton is in the lead. 1.3 seconds of an advantage in the lead, I might add. Dahmer can get up to the left rear quarter panel of Frederick, but that is about as far up as he's able to get at this moment in time. Stapleton, Frederick, Fink, Steyer, Ray, your top five. As we have two laps down, four laps to go. Again, Frederick about a line higher than is Fink. And that is all making all the difference as Frederick able to drive it deeper into one and three and able to get a better run coming off of two and four. But Fink absolutely not letting him go anywhere. So down the back straightaway they go. Alex Stapleton leading this way from the drop of the green flag on the pole position. Battle for the second spot raging hard as they go into turn number three. Frederick trying to hold off Dahmer as they come off turn number four, still holding on to the second place position. The rest of the field kind of strung out as green goes high in the air. We got two laps to go. Once again, Stapleton still your race leader, leading from the drop of the green. And a battle for second between Frederick and Fink. Jeff Fink throwing everything including the kitchen sink of the Mullen faucet at Fredrickson. Ken, or sorry, Frederick cannot get anything done. Meanwhile, up front, Alex Stapleton is G-O-N-E gone. 2.443 second advantage over that battle for second as he's going to fire it off into three and four one more time. Big Al, Alex Stapleton picks up his first heat race win of 2023. Justin Frederick in second, Jeff Fink third, Michael Steyer in fourth, and George Ray will round out your top five. Drivers being given the sign, we're gonna go green next time by. Off of turn number four, green flag wave and the thunder will roll from the IMCA Northern Sport Mods here at the Crawford County Speedway. Six laps of distance, six cars, your one and only heat race in your freezing performance Northern Sport Mods brought to you by Totten's Plumbing and Heating. And, yep, Brian Broderson's going to let that one go. We are racing, and it's going to be Thomas Van Dyke with a great start. He's going to fire it off down into one and two. The boogeyman, Brian Sullivan, in second, but look at this. Three, four, five, three wide for a moment as that was the triple seven of Olsen, the 85 of West, and Joe Reitz was in there for a second, too, but... Uh, now, for some reason, Reitz is on to the back. But it's going to be Thomas Van Dyke leading lap one. Last lap by Cody Olsen. Dove it into turn one. Got a great start on that. Came up to the inside and gave Joe Reitz the boot around the corner. And now Joe Reitz has to fight back from the back spot. And now we have a battle for second raging on between Olsen and Sullivan. And meanwhile, coming back up through the field, Joe Reitz of the one JR. Well, if uh, Cody Olsen, any questions on Cody Olsen remembered how to drive a sport mod, I think he's answering them right now as uh, he went from his last place starting spot or last row starting spot, and now he's battling the boogeyman, Brian Sullivan, for second. What a battle we have going on for two and three. Van Dyke leading it down the back straightaway as now Cody Olsen takes over that second spot from Sullivan. Single foul racing down the back straightaway and into turn three. Joe Reese got past the 85 at Dustin West for that not last position as the ring goes high in the air. We got two laps to go for Van Dyke. Lap and a half. Here is the question. Can Cody Olsen make up a lot of ground? He is going to have to bonsai it these next three sets of corners. I don't know. Van Dyke's going to take the white flag with a 1.9 second advantage. Olsen. Just going to the whip, trying to pedal that car for all it is worth as he fired off down the back stretch. Van Dyke's going to put it in three and four one more time. Give the win to Thomas Van Dyke. Cody Olsen, second. Third to the boogeyman, Brian Sullivan. Fourth to Hayden Hillgardner. And fifth is going to go to Joe Reese.
Brian Broderson holds the green flag high to the heavens. One lap from now, as they come out of four, they are gonna fire up those engines. They're gonna let them eat as the IMCA Sunoco Hobby Socks, brought to you by the Finish Line Racing Products, will be green for the first A feature of 2023. Alex Stapleton, Riley Christensen, your front row through turns three and four. They go this time around. Nice, easy pace. PJ off of turn number four. Green flag is out. We're feature racing at Crawford. And it is going to be side by side. Riley Christensen and Alex Stapleton. Christensen with a slight advantage into one and two as he is now going to take the lead. That's going to put Alex Stapleton back to second. Looks like 83 of Frederick sitting there in that third place spot. George Ray in fourth, rounding out of the top five. It's going to be Kevin Brook, and Brook definitely running a higher line than not only anybody else, but anybody has all night. Down near the back of the pack, it was a three-car tussle for not last. As now Travis Fink is going to have to fall to the wayside after a three-wide battle down the back stretch. Just ahead of them, fighting between the 87th Steyer, then it's going to be Fink and Colby Christensen battling for three, for three different spots off of turn number four. Jeff Fink gets by Colby Christensen for position number next as he is now going to go knocking on the back door of the A7 of Steyer. Meanwhile, we got a battle. Brock on the inside of the 16 R of Ray, but a little bit further up. Battle for the lead as Christensen now has a rear bumper full of the seven of Alex Stapleton. Christensen still leads. Brock now not quite able to get by Ray. As Stapleton dives into the inside, we got a battle for the race lead off of turn number two. Side by side, and Stapleton was able to put the corner panel to him. Takes the position of oh, problems. He slows it. He's got trouble in turn three. Stapleton goes down. Oh, heartbreaker for the 2021 champ as he is back up to speed. I don't know what happened to the car, but he lost four, five, six positions. It's now Justin Frederick, your leader, as he gets by the 79 RC of Riley Christensen. The lucky benefactor of the problems for Alex Stapleton as he slid up. That got in the way of Riley Christensen. Now Christensen to the second spot, trying to battle his way back to that lead spot from Frederick. Meanwhile, back there with Alex Stapleton, contact made with Colby Christensen. It's a tussle back there for deep in the field. You look at Ray, Jeff Fink, and the seven of Stapleton battling, but look who's up to third. That is Grandpa Gums, Kevin Brook, and he is starting to try and reel in the 79 RC of Riley Christensen. Meanwhile, Fink back to the inside of Ray. That is your battle for fourth and fifth. Meanwhile, battle for the race lead, heating up once again. Frederick trying to hold off Riley Christensen down the back straightaway. Christensen got to the back bumper of that 83X out of Clayhorn. Off of turn number four, he's looking to the inside. We're going to have a race for the lead as we're cross flag halfway home. What an amazing race right now we have between Justin Frederick from Plaguehorn and Audubon, Iowa's Riley Christensen. Christensen, he wants to pick up where he left off last year. Track champion just a year ago. Wants to pick up his first feature win on his championship defense this year, but he has an extremely tough... Oh, and Kevin Brock pulls up lane. Something wrong with the 01B of Kevin Brock. Flat right rear tire. Oh, what a heartbreaker for Kevin Brock as his night is done. But back up front, Riley Christensen again trying to get under Frederick. Cannot make it happen. Not making it happen, but he's definitely not giving up. Battling to the inside once again goes the 79 of Riley Christensen. Battle for the race lead. We're side by side down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, Alex Stapleton has made his way back up to the fourth spot after dropping back in the field. Through turns three and four, a little bit of contact maybe as they come off for turn number four. It's still Clegg, Clegghorn, Iowa's Justin Frederick, your race leader. Man, I'll tell you, Christensen got up to the door of Frederick, could not quite make it go any further. Now Frederick looks like he's going to try and make it a go again as he's setting him up. He's going to try and drive it down just a little bit deeper. Gets about to the quarter panel, no further. Another lap led by Frederick. Speaking of coming up lame, Colby Christensen pulling off the back straightaway. His night is done. Meanwhile, battle for the race lead still shaping up hard, heavy as they come down the back straightaway. Christensen's going to look to the inside maybe a little bit through turns three and four. Slides and thinks better of it, but as the drive 
coming side by side. It's still Justin Frederick, your race leader, but coming to the inside is Christensen. Alex Stapleton starting his recovery run as he's now made his way back up to fourth and is going to the outside of Dahmer. Those two were part of a three-car battle for the championship last year. Riley Christensen was able to make happen. And now Steyer getting back in the middle of that. But right now, oh, Riley Christensen. Oh, he was almost side-by-side -side with Frederick. Two laps to go. Two laps to go, almost side-by-side -side with Frederick. And there's a good battle going for the fourth spot as Stapleton goes to the inside. He's going to slide it and have to think better over, but they're going to be side-by-side -side down the back straightaway. Stapleton gets the position over Steyer. Meanwhile, still way up front as the white flag comes out. We have one lap to go. One last chance for Riley Christensen to make the drive to get to the front. He's going to try and drive it down the hill. He's at the corner. Can't quite make it to the door. Is he going to try and pull a bonsai down into three? No! It's going to be Frederick. Justin Frederick with the win. Riley Christensen, a very close second. Dahmer, Jeff Fink in third. Steyer fourth and Stapleton will round out your top five. Then it's going to be Ulrich, Travis Fink, and George Ray rounding out your finishing field here at the Crawford County Speedway season opener for the 2023 season. And picking up night number one. Got a little bit of good luck there as they, uh, Alex Stapleton slid up and had to gather it back up. But after getting that, he was hard-pressed for that win. It's the 83X of Justin Frederick. Chief starter Brian Broderson gives him the one-to-go signal. Will be green next time by. So once again, that starting lineup is the one JR, Joe Reitz on the pole to the outside. It's Brian Sullivan. Then it's a battle of the lucky numbers in row number two with Cody Olson and Thomas Van Dyke. And row three is Hayden Hillgardner and Dustin West going to go through turns three and four to the green. Don't most people say that 13 is an unlucky number? I mean, triple seven, that'll, that'll give you a jackpot at a casino, but 13, I'm not so sure. Either way, we'll see how lucky it is for Van Dyke because we are green. And the boogeyman's going to lead the charge down into one and turn one. As, oh, he bobbles this a little bit. That's going to allow Reeks from the inside, Van Dyke from the outside to get by Sullivan. Also open the door for Olsen as we got a side-by-side -side battle for the lead as they come into four. Van Dyke will lead lap number one. 13 proven lucky tonight for Van Dyke as he leads us into turns one and two. Reeks trying to hold on for the second spot. Here comes Jackpot, Cody Olsen down the backstretch. Into turn three they go. Olsen's going to look at the back bumper. Three wheels, it hits the high side. What kind of drive is he going to have a turn number four? It's going to be Reitz holding on for that second spot. Jackpot Cody Olsen. I'm going to have to remember that one. I never even thought about that with the triple sevens. I'm stealing that. So Van Dyke with a sizable. Oh, Joe Reitz pulls up. Problems for the one JR. Tammy down there is not thrilled. Has problems right off the bat for the year for Joe Reitz. That's now going to put Cody Olsen up in that second place spot. Sizable battle or distance between him and Van Dyke. Also a sizable distance between, uh, between Olsen and Sullivan as well. Into turn three they go. We got a battle for the third spot raging on between. That is a 14S of Sullivan and then it's going to be Hillgartner. Hillgartner, is that a different color car this year? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention earlier, PJ. <laughs> uh, yes, that is different from what he had last year for sure. Right now, 2.4 second difference for distance between Van Dyke and Olsen, making now 2.8 seconds as we are coming down to halfway this next time by. We'll be six laps down, six laps to go, and Thomas Van Dyke is on Carew's control. Cross flags, halfway home in this one. Van Dyke, your race leader, the 13 proven lucky tonight. Cody Olsen in second spot, trying to find any way he can to chase him down for these last six laps. Meanwhile, battle for third was shaping up. Now it's kind of split off a little bit between Sullivan and Hillgartner as they come through turn three and four for that battle for third. Hillgartner's looking just a little bit lower, but he's gonna have to tuck tail and follow Sullivan for fourth. 
the field has pretty much strung themselves out. They've settled down into their positions as of right now. Thomas Van Dyke with a 3.1 second advantage now over Cody Olsen. Of course, again, Cody Olsen, we talked about earlier, been running modified the past three years, decided to go back to what he knew best, which was the sport mod. And Hill Gardner, problems for the five of Hill Gardner as he's gonna pull up lame. Unfortunately, looks like his nine might be done as well. Another lap in the books goes to Thomas Van Dyke in the 13, followed by Cody Olsen, who just crossed the line. Then it's Brian Sullivan, and then it's gonna be Dustin West holding on for the fourth spot. As your four remaining cars on the field, green flags can go high in the air. We got two laps to go. Just two more circuits around the 3 8 mile Crawford County Speedway. A little bit hot up here because the action on the track is hot as well. As Van Dyke is going to come through three and four, he is going to see the white flag in the hands of Brian Broderson. White flag is out. One lap to go for Thomas Van Dyke. Trying to chase him down, but coming up short here tonight is Cody Olsen in the triple seven. But through turns three and four, Thomas Van Dyke pulling a great Lori Morgan impression as he says, watch me walk away with this checkered flag tonight. Second is going to go to Cody Olsen in the triple seven. Then it's going to be third to Brian Sullivan. Fourth and rounding out your running field is the 85 of Dustin West. Green to checkered run here in the Sport Mods tonight. Your freezing performance IMCA Northern Sport Mods. And proven for him, the 13 is a lucky number. Thomas Van Dyke taking home tonight's feature. 